A flash flood watch has been issued for northeast Tennessee tonight and for southwest Virginia through early Monday. That means conditions are favorable for flash flooding to develop, and residents in the watch area should be ready for quick action if flooding occurs. Now let's move outside to our current conditions. We're under cloudy skies. The temperature is 69 degrees. Humidity, 57 percent. Winds are from the south at 7 miles per hour, and the barometer is at 29.82 and falling. Today we reached a high of 76 degrees, a low of 50. Normals a high of 54 and a low of 32. Record set on this date a high of 77 in 1955 and a low of 5 degrees in 1960. Tonight, as I said, a flash flood watch in effect with 100% chance of thunderstorms. A few may be severe with large hail and damaging wind. The low should be 52 degrees. Tomorrow, look for occasional rain and a high in the mid-50s. Then on Tuesday, a 30% chance of rain and a high of 39. In southwest Virginia and eastern Kentucky tonight, rain and thunderstorms with a low of 45 degrees. Tomorrow, rain becoming mixed with snow by the afternoon, the high around 50 dropping in the afternoon. In western North Carolina tonight, rain and thunderstorms and a low of 30, 48. Tomorrow, an 80% chance of rain or thunderstorms with a high in the mid-60s, but once again, it will be cooling by the afternoon. Then the extended forecast, Wednesday through Friday, fair with a warming trend. Highs ranging from the mid-50s on Wednesday to the mid-60s on Friday. Lows will be warming from the mid-30s to the mid-40s. And I'm very proud we have some new champions. I can't believe it. Pinch me, pinch me. I cannot believe it. Pinch Is this for real? <laughs> it's for real. I'm not taking away won. anything from the Buccaneers. They had they played a tremendous game tonight. Asheville must be lucky for them. It was for real. It was for real. It was for real. The East Tennessee State Buccaneers advanced to the fabulous 64-team NCAA tournament for the first time since 1968. In Asheville, North Carolina, the Bucs played like the team that had turned away Mississippi State and Wake Forest earlier in the year. As they last so the thundering herd of Marshall for Les Robinson's first Southern Conference championship in 16 years. The Bucks began this game like they did last night. Mr. Jennings, alley-oops to Calvin Talford for the jam. Talford incredible tonight. He led the Bucks with 20 points. For the thundering herd, John Taft was unstoppable. He pulls up, drops the jump shot for three of his first half 15. He finished with 36 and the MVP trophy. But the Bucks pushed it to six at one time. Major Gear makes the steal, dishes to Jennings, who passes the story for the jam. The Bucks led 39-37 at the half. In the second half, ETSU continued to control the scoreboard and, surprising enough, the rebounds. Chad Keller was incredible underneath as he hauled down 11 and watched Mr. Pop, the three-pointer from the other end, as the Bucks led by 11. Jennings had 16 points. From there, Les began to smile while Huckabee felt the heat, especially when Alvin West will stop and pop two of his 17 points. The Bucks led by 13. Later in the half, ETSU pushed it to 18. Greg Dennis will pop to turn around over 6'11", Omar Rowland. Dennis had 15 points and 13 rebounds. From there, Buck fans were going crazy. So were the players. And Michael Woods will then top this game off with the jam down the middle at the buzzer. The Bucks advance to the NCAA tournament. All tournament team goes to Greg Dennis, Calvin Talford, Mr. Jennings, Alvin West. They win the Southern Conference Championship 96-73. Tom Myers was at that game. He'll have a full report tomorrow at 6. Also tonight, 1.30 a.m., ETSU will return. There will be a party at the uh, Dome, 1.30 on the west side. Folks, come on out and congratulate the Buccaneers. Okay, now leaving college basketball for a second, the travel to Rockingham, North Carolina, where Rusty Wallace said it best after winning today's Goodwrench 500. Quite simply, he said he's back. And when you think of that, that's a scary thought for most drivers since Wallace finished last season by winning four out of the last five races and just missing out on the Winston Cup Points Championship. It was not a pretty day for racing at the Rock. The rains from the night before left temperatures low and the track wet. So after 20 opening laps under the caution to drive the one-mile oval, the drivers were soon cut loose and the pole sitter, Rusty Wallace, immediately surged to the front. Last week's Daytona 500 winner, Dale Waltrip, saw his second straight trip to Victory Circle dashed when he was black flagged for a busted oil pan midway through the race. One of the strongest cars on the track was the Quaker State Buick, driven by Ricky Rudd, who dodged two accidents, including this one by Morgan Shepard. The spin collected Ernie Irvin and Rusty Wallace, who tapped the outside wall. Another driver who ran strong before running into trouble was Alan Kowicki, who was nudged by Harry Gann on lap 357. 
the spin sent Kowicki sliding down to the apron. But despite some hectic moments in the Kodiak Pontiac pits, it was Rusty Wallace who shined the brightest on this cloudy day as Wallace takes advantage of this mishap between the leader, Rudd, and Dell Earnhardt. The accident weakened any hopes of Gant, Earnhardt, and Rudd's chances of winning the race. Because from there, Wallace raced in with his 11th career victory and his second win at the Rock. Crew did everything because those two final two pit stops, that was the key. And I told them, I said, come on, man, pull through for me. And they did. They had some killer stops. But because uh, I tell you, when you get down like we did at Daytona, this feels good to come back. The board looks like this. Rusty Wallace, the winner, Cole Wicke, Earnhardt, Bodine, Martin, Davey Allison, Sterling Marlin, Jim Sauter, Lake Speed, and Greg Sachs. The other notable, Rick Wilson, finished 17th. Now to the top 20 board. Duke, a big game over North Carolina by two. North Carolina State is now the regular season champs in the ACC. Other score was Syracuse over Georgetown, NOT, 82-76. Illinois by three over Indiana. Other score, Seton Hall, no problem with uh, Brookline College. West Virginia over St. Joe by 20. This game is tied up in the first 14 all. UNLV by two over New Mexico State. In the NBA tonight, Milwaukee over Cleveland. It was Utah by two over Atlanta. Houston 88, the Lakers 83. Washington 114, Charlotte 101. Detroit 109, Miami 100. Indiana, Portland, they're tied up in overtime. Golden State, Sacramento, that game is just now underway. Now to college football news for today in Pullman, Washington. It was confirmed that Dennis Eckerson will leave his head coaching post at Washington State University to become the new head football coach at the University of Miami. The 41-year-old Eckerson will succeed Jimmy Johnson, who was named the head coach of the NFL's Dallas Cowboys eight years ago. Eckerson's seven-year record, Stephanie, 50, 31, and 1. Please come out to the Dome, 130 on the west side tonight. And I want to say real quickly, Joe oh, Milner, we hope he's doing well. I know really? he's proud of the yeah. Bucks. <laughs> this may be your last chance. Chance. Get up to $1,000 or 4.9 financing. It's your chance. Buy a select new 89 Pontiac now, and depending on the model you choose, you could save big with up to $1,000 cash back or 4.9 APR GMAC financing. This is it. Your chance to save big on Pontiac's excitement cars. Hurry, buy Pontiac now. Don't chance it. See your Tri-Cities Pontiac dealer. Crabtree Pontiac Bristol. Sheffield Pontiac Johnson City. Downhill Pontiac Kingsport. Financial security. It doesn't come without sacrifice and hard work. At Heritage Federal, we've developed a framework for financial security and peace of mind. It's called the Freedom Plan with trust services, certificates of deposit, safe deposit boxes, direct deposit checking accounts, traveler's checks, and mail transactions. It's time to reward yourself for all the hard work and sacrifice. Heritage Federal. Come talk to us about your financial freedom. Heritage Federal, our heritage is helping. Give me the softer side of nature. Help me bring it home. Give me all that natural softness. Give me nature's own. Nature's own. A line of delicious wheat breads that are naturally wholesome and naturally soft. Give me the softer side of nature. Give me nature's own. Made by the Flowers family. Stephanie, for Jimmy Johnson, I meant eight days, not eight years. Yeah, I was wondering about that. <laughs> Thanks, Kenny, and we'll see you next weekend. This is the CBS Sunday Night News. John Perugia sitting in tonight for Bill Plant. Good evening. Hundreds of